everyone. So this is our little baby box turtle um, setup indoors for the winter. We have five baby box turtles that we found in the enclosure outside um, over the season and we brought them in to keep them safe and we had them currently in this container in the Chinese because um, we brought the Chinese in as well. So they've been in with the Chinese just in a container um, just this past few days so that we can set up their enclosure. So I'm pulling them out now and I'm gonna set them up in the PVC um, enclosure that we have that we we got from our friend Tom Ashford. He was nice enough to donate it to us. I have um, my little doggy Willow. She's making sure that I'm doing everything correctly and supervising, so please excuse her. So in here we have some soil, I have leaves, just some little pieces of bark and some pieces of scrap wood and we just kind of spray this down really well, try to keep it nice and moist in there for them. I have a little bowl of water. You know, they don't really go in it, but um, every once in a while when I see them out, I'll just kind of plop them in the water and we try to soak them weekly and offer them some Reptamin or other kinds of uh, pellets so that they'll eat. They're, they're just in, you know, they're in hiding stages right now. They're young, they're, they're very small. They're still, you know, still learning how to fend for themselves. So um, we just try to make sure that they're offered food regularly, soaks regularly so that they can grow up to be nice and strong and healthy. So here I am just putting them in this enclosure, um, just trying to get them settled in there. They are just going to run and hide like, uh, like little babies will do. And uh, we're just going to keep them in here for the winter. You can see they have a little pathway in the middle. Um, this enclosure is, we've used these enclosures for snakes before. You can have two separate enclosures or we just kind of, there was a crack in it. So we just cut it open so they can have a dark side on one side and then they can have a, a side with light on the other side. And that's where um, I'll feed them and soak them, etc. So I'm throwing some worms in there that I had in the enclosure in that little container. Um, the worms are awesome. They just they just dig in there. I just throw them all in and they, they dig into the dirt and they hang out in there. And every once in a while, one of the little babies will find a worm and chow down. And that's more natural for them than us pulling them out and putting them in a container to feed them where they just are in shock and confused and scared. So we try to offer bugs in there so that they can hunt and find them naturally, which uh, we want to try to keep it as natural as we can in an, an indoor setup. And hopefully next year, our hope, our goal is to be out of Pennsylvania and someplace warmer again with our small group of turtles that we have and just uh, keep it a little bit smaller this time and find a property that will work for us where we can have some ponds for the diamondbacks and some setups for the box turtles and the tortoises that we do have and hopefully we can start rescuing again. So this is their setup. You can see um, a couple of them are looking around at the worms getting ready up oh, there he goes he just attacked one he's a, he's our little spunky one right there but um yeah they're, they're these guys are doing great and i love we love videoing and taking pictures regularly so that we can compare you know hopefully after the winter we can compare how big they've gotten over the season and uh you know right now they're tiny but I can see that they've they've grown already in the past couple of months. Like you could see that they're they're getting bigger and starting to get a little bit of color, and you can see the little flares on their shells and little the little lines down their backs. Down, it just you could see the color a little bit more because they're starting to, starting to grow. And the same thing happened with the Chinese. You know, we we brought them outside, and they they looked so small to us, and they were outside in an enclosure all spring and summer and most of fall. And we bring them in, and they they just look humongous to us, and. We have them in um, a tank, you know, just big, big glass tank that we have the Diamondbacks in over the, you know, the baby Diamondbacks in over the winter. And we don't really like glass tanks for turtles, but it's just for the season. It's just, you know, it's just a few months that they're going to be in there. And they're in full high mode, hide mode as well. They've just been hiding. I pull them out also once a week and soak them and uh, offer them food. But they've been like super, super sketchy. They're, they're just like... Uh, trying to stay as far away from me as possible. <laughs> Just soaking some sphagnum. I'm gonna put it in with the babies and the Chinese. Let's get it nice and wet, let it soak. It keeps it real moist in the enclosures. Just 
just loaded these guys up with some sphagnum. Nice and wet, moist, moist. We don't like that word. Got these guys soaking in here. All they've been doing is hiding. So hopefully they'll get out of this little shy stage that they're in and uh, realize that I'm feeding them and taking care of them. Right, little babies? This guy's the spunkiest. You're the spunkiest, right? The littlest one. But yeah, this is perfect for these little guys. I'm gonna give them some worms and uh, see if they eat.